All right, so we're going to calculate, uh, estimate the height of our dwarf pine tree in our front yard here. And the way I'm going to do it is to, um, is to use that relationship that we've already talked about that you can see here. Just a reminder that the, uh, the tangent of an angle is equal to the ratio of the height of the, of the, uh, the y side divided by the x side. So, all right, so what I need to know then is, is the x side. How far am I away from the tree? Now, we have already figured this out. I used my uh, tape measure and measured, and I'm about 15 feet away from the, from the base of the tree here. And if I can use my phone and the, uh, the inclinometer app to, um, <clears throat> to get the angle between my head height and the top of the tree, looks like it's about there. And I just look at it, and yeah, it's hard to read it in the sunlight here, but it's about, it's about 40 degrees, not quite 40 degrees, 38 degrees. So, so, all right now, 38 degrees, let's look at this. We've got a tangent of 38 degrees is going to be equal to the height of the tree divided by the distance away from the tree. And so the, I know the distance away is 15. I want to get the y by itself, so I'm going to multiply both sides by x. So I have uh, x, which is 15, times the tangent of 38 is going to give me the height of my tree and so uh, in, in feet. So I just need to calculate the tangent of 38. So bones are good for a lot of things. I can just, uh, I can, I've got the tangent, I can just Google tangent, T-A-N, uh, 38, 38. And you want to make sure that you don't put ran 38 because that wouldn't work. So I've got to do tan 38. Tan. This is the boring part while you wait for me to do tan 38. And then make sure it does degrees because there's also something called radians. We don't want radians. So tan 38 degrees comes out to be 0.78 roughly. So 0.78. Put that in my calculation here. 15 times 0.78. Uh, and I can just do times. It's the 0.78 is there. So I'm just going to do times 15. And that comes out to be 11.7. And I remember that I'm standing six feet off the ground, roughly. I was holding it about here. So, so plus six is um, is 17.7. And uh, Mary and I measured that tree, and it was 18 feet. So that's pretty darn good, right? That's all right. So, so okay. So now, just a real quick. Um, way for you to check this and do one more calculation on a not a tree that is uh, do it for a telephone pole so we just we're so lucky we have a telephone pole right next to us as well and uh, and I happen to know that I am 24 feet right now I'm 24 feet from the telephone pole and how do you know that oh uh, we measured oh that's right I I did that not with the tape measure but by um, striding along with a determined three-foot stride. If I just walk, I'm kind of walking at like two feet. Anyway, when I walk as a, as a determined person, I get about three feet to every stride. So it was about eight strides to the telephone pole, therefore about 24 feet to the telephone pole. So now all I've got to do is get the angle of the telephone pole. And um, so back to my inclinometer, back to being six feet off the ground my head here and then oh wow I gotta aim it way up there try to estimate look at the angle on it wow so once again this won't work unless you get the inclinometer working now that looks like about 48 degrees so those same calculations here I'm just gonna do them real quick um, 40 tangent of 48 uh, will be equal to uh, y over x and I in this case I know my x is 24 so I'm going to have 24 tangent 
48 and that will give me my height my y so let's do and i will remember to add in my six feet so so okay so 20 i've got to get the, the tangent of 48 degrees i already had 38 in there so 48 And, uh, and I get 1.11. Tangent of 45 would just be 1. So tangent 48, 1.1 1 .1 sounds good. So 1.11 times uh, 24, times 24 is equal to 26. And then I know I'm standing six feet off the ground, so that's 32. And it is a fact that you should know for, you should just know this, that Telephone poles are 40 feet long, typically, and six feet of them are buried in the ground. So that leaves about 34 feet standing. So an estimate of 32 and a half feet, that's not bad, right? Not bad. So, so there you go. Um, you can do this at home now.